Hey guys, as you know, Escape from Tarkov is pretty unoptimized at this point. So in this video, I'm going to cover all the things I have done to make my game run much better. This is going to cover game settings, NVIDIA control panel, hyper threading, and everything you need to know to just get that little bit more FPS to hit them shots and smack all them cheekies. So stick around and enjoy. So the first place we're going to start at is our desktop. So what you're going to do here if you are a NVIDIA user is you're going to right click and go NVIDIA control panel. Opening up NVIDIA control panel, this is for NVIDIA cards only. You're going to go here and you're going to go to manage 3D settings. You've got global settings and you've got program settings. The first thing you're going to do is click program. Now in this program settings you're going to be brought up to a drop down list. If you haven't done this already, Tarkov will not show up, so you have to have the game running in the background. So first thing you want to do is find Escape from Tarkov and then add it. Now here, we're going to start looking at some settings here. As you can see, there's a lot of settings here you can set to global. Now in this, I'm going to bring up another document here. And in this document, it's going to show you what I believe are the best options here for NVIDIA control panel. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is virtual reality pre-rendered frames. So we're going to bring it down and we're going to have global setting on one and then we're going to go maximum pre-rendered frames one. Then we're going to go preferred refresh rate. We're going to make sure it's highest available. This is if you have a 144 hertz monitor, it'll improve performance, making sure your game runs to your monitor's refresh rate. Um, so we're going to bring it up to power management mode. Now this is an important one. Uh, power management mode prefer maximum performance. Now this is probably the biggest and most important part of this because this allows your card to draw more power for Escape for Tarkov if it needs to. And we're also going to make sure we've got threaded optimization on. Um, which is further down. Threaded optimization which I haven't turned on. I'm going to turn that on. And then we're going to go up to V-Sync, um, sorry, Vertical Sync down below and make sure that's globally off. I do not believe that V-Sync helps in this game and for me it causes a lot of frame rate lag. And uh, the most important thing here is to make sure that your settings are as seen here. Once these are all done, just go ahead and press apply. So it's been a sneaky suspicion for a while now that Unity in Escape from Tarkov does not actually use hyper threading properly researched and backed up by a reddit post from treku link in the description has found that hyper threading can actually cause more stuttering and it can actually decrease your fps and how to turn this off is actually quite simple the first thing we're going to do as if you are at home right now is you need to know how many cores your cpu has so the first thing you want to do here is go Control alt delete now when you go control alt delete and you get task manager brought up you're going to have a look here and you're going to go to performance now under performance down in the bottom right corner you've got your cpu telling you how many cores you have and also many other things about your cpu now as i can see i've got an intel i77 here um, i've just run mine at a normal clock here today and i've got four cores that's all you need to know so you've got four cores now he has made some examples here of what you need to do, but I have set up a bat file here today, which is basically a type of file that starts your game up, disables hyper threading and sets the priority above normal. Now how to do this here today is you just go right click, go new, and then you go text document. Now in this text document, the copy paste is down below what you need to put inside this document. But here I've got at echo off, start, C drive BSG launcher, BSG launcher.exe. Now this part here is where your escape from Tarkov is located. Um, some people might be different. It might be Battlestate Games BSG launcher forward slash, uh, backward slash or BSG launcher. So you need to put where your directory is here inside the document. Now, the reason I needed you to know how many cores you have in your CPU is because this is where the next part comes in. So you've got processor affinity equals 85. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell? So for me, I've got four cores. 
So we've done uh, a little bit of research here today and each core and how to work out this number and what you need to do. I've got some examples for four core, six core and eight core. Um, so the affinity being 85 for four core, 1,365 for six core and uh, 21,845 for eight core. But if you want to know this for any CPU, you have to just do a little bit of simple math. Now I've set it out here so it's pretty easy. Each core is equal to 0, 1 in binary. So simply put, if you have four cores, you have four 0, 1s in succession. So your binary is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So to work out your process affinity, if you had four cores, that's it there. So then you're going to go ahead and copy paste how many cores that you have in binary and go over to the link which I have also put in the description here which is this one here, cool conversion. You're going to bring this up here today and in binary we're going to set 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 for four cores remember? So in decimal it's 85. So the binary to decimal is 85 therefore my processor affinity is 85. So in your description that you put in your text document here today would be 85. At one of these bat files is actually incredibly easy. All you have to simply do is right click, then go new, then go down to text document. In your text document, you're going to find one of the descriptions um, down below that suits the cores in your CPU and then you're just going to paste it into a text document here. Now mine's a little bit different here. So for my start, I have BSG launcher forward slash BSG launcher.exe. For some of you, it may be Battlestate Games, BSG launcher, BSG launcher.exe. Um, you just have to make sure that you have the right uh, amount of cores here, the right directory to where your BSG launcher is located, and also your right processor affinity, which I just covered. And then what you need to do is then save as, I call mine generally EFT, and then you just put dot BAT for bat, and then you go save. And then that turns your text document into a command prompt, basically. So all you do is then double click this, and then you'll see my game launches up, and then I'm good to go. So all that, all that does for me it is, is not bannable. All it does is disable your uneven cores, your hyper threads, so your logical processes, and it just launches the game up for you, and it's sweet. As soon as you launch it, this will shut itself down, and you won't see anything. This is not bannable, and uh, this actually helps FPS incredibly. For me, I've noticed majority a lot less stutters when I'm playing big maps like Interchange, and just a small 5 to 10% increase in FPS, and it's definitely worth the time. There's one small little fix that I've also have noticed has helped my stuttering is if you type in escape from Tarkov and then find your file location, you're going to look for the actual executable for the game and then you're going to right click and then go properties. Working our way into details here, I mean compatibility, I do apologize. We're going to look at this one down the bottom here called change high DPI settings. Clicking on this. We're going to notice this here called high DPI scaling override and override high scale uh, DPI scaling behavior. We're just going to untick that and then press OK and then apply. That is all you have to do. I have noticed that this has actually also helped reduce some of the stutters in game. All right, so last but not least, we're going to dip into my EFT settings. These are pretty simple, but uh, just a recommendation here today. If you have an older graphics card, let's say anything from a 980, I have noticed having textures down on low and shadows down on low are actually the better way to run this game. Uh, but if you have a higher card such as uh, 2080 like I have in my current gaming rig, I have noticed that putting the textures and the shadows higher draw a little bit more power to the card and I get better performance. As for VSync, I turn that the hell off. Um, full screen, personal preference here, but I believe when it's off, I can just alt tab and just do things easier. Um, object load is a huge one. This is basically rendering. Make sure you have that down. Um, visibility is a great one. Have that on 400, uh, 400 and shadow visibility as well on 40. 
Um, SSAO just basically adds a little bit of blurriness that I don't really like, but I haven't noticed any big performance when it's on or off. And uh, SSR is actually... I really wish this actually worked in the game properly right now, but it absolutely destroys your frames. Um, it makes the game look really beast with the lighting. looks awesome, but it destroys your frames. If you did the NVIDIA control panel thing I showed earlier, um, per texture is definitely the way to go for your anastropic filtering. Um, I like a little bit of anti-aliasing on just FXAA for me does the job. And uh, as for sharpness, it doesn't really affect performance at all. It's all personal preference. And then we've got Zebra, Chromatic aberration, uh, Aberrations and Noise. I just turn all of these off. However, I have noticed that Noise um, does like add a cinematic sort of effect to your game that I don't really mind all that much, but I just turn it off because sometimes it gets a bit annoying. And uh, as for that, that's my settings. Hey guys, so that concludes my FPS guide for Tarkov. If this video helped you improve your FPS, uh, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Um, as for Twitch, I stream six days a week, eight hours a day. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you out there.